Okay, guys. So, this is my predictions for WWE Survivor Series, the 30th annual pay-per-view, which will take place this Sunday in Toronto, Canada. Now, I will not be doing an on-camera predictions because I have audio tape. That's right. This past Wednesday, I was on my usual spot with Nick Durst, Sports Politics, and more on UCY TV, which can be heard every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Our producer, John Brown, who was also our co-host, was uh, stuck on the New Jersey Transit bus. So in order to fill the first few minutes of the show, right after I did my famous 10 of 10 spot where I talk about politics, I made my predictions for this yearly pay-per-view. So basically, what you're going to hear right now is me and Nick making our predictions. So this is a little bit different than what I normally do, but uh, hopefully next time I will do a uh, face appearance of me making predictions for tables, ladders, and chairs next month. So why am I continuing talking? Enjoy the audio tape. Spanning your radios, coast to coast, and all around the world. Sports, politics, and more with John Brown and Nick Durst, live on UCY.TV So, I'd like to discuss with you now. We obviously, we have the 30th Survivor Series this Sunday from Toronto. Um, the return of Goldberg, very excited for that match. So, let's start there. We have Goldberg taking on Brock Lesnar. Who do you see winning this match? Uh... Unfortunately, I'm going to go with Lesnar. Lesnar is still in his prime. Goldberg's going to Suplex City. Goldberg is going to try to do something, but in the end, Lesnar's going to nail the F5 or break his arm with the Kimura lock. I would agree with you. And I'm... let's see if Goldberg's head's going to be. Listen, I'd love to see, to see Goldberg win, but... And his head's going to bleed. We both know Lesnar's going to win. I don't know how Goldberg's going to survive all the suplexes. Um, oh, he can't. He can't. No. All right. We got Kalisto taking on Brian Kendrick for the Cruiserweight Championship. If Kalisto wins, this, the, the Cruiserweight brand goes to SmackDown. Kalisto's definitely winning. What do you think? Kalisto's going to bring that uh, Cruiserweight title to SmackDown. SmackDown Live's going to have Cruiserweights. And because... The so the new 205 Cruiserweight show on WWE Network, available for $9.99, um, is going to be airing right after SmackDown, and it's going to be taped in the same arena as SmackDown Live. So it makes sense. Um, then we have The Miz, the new Intercontinental Champion, six-time champ, taking on Sami Zayn. If Sami Zayn wins, the title goes to Raw. How do you see this one playing out? Uh, well, I was a little bit upset that Sigler did not defend the title yet last night. And, uh, you know, I would like to see the IC title go to Raw, so I'm going to go with Sami Zayn. See, I'm not sure how this one's going to play out. I can see Sami Zayn winning, and then Miz goes to Raw because he needs to get a rematch. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Um, oh, man, or... Raw would be awesome. Absolutely awesome. Raw. <laughs> Um, or we could, or we could see Sami Zayn win, and he could somehow say, "I'm not going. I'm not keeping this on Raw. I'm saying on SmackDown somehow." But I don't know. Hopefully, the Miz wins, but I'm not really sure. Then we have the tag team Survivor Series tag team match. Team SmackDown taking on Team Raw. Um, team, team Raw is capped by the, the the greatest tag team of all time. Your W. W. w E World Tag Team Champions! <laughs> SmackDown is captained by the joke of a tag team, Heath Slater and Rhino. I don't know if they're King Booker. Cup talk last night's going to pay off. I think Team Raw should win. What do you think? I just said it. Team Raw's going to win. But there is a reason why I could see them SmackDown somehow winning with American Alpha. Because if we move on to the women's match, Raw, Raw's women's team is definitely going to win. They have such a better team. 
Nia Jax is a monster. Charlotte's the greatest of all time. Sasha Banks is very good. Bailey's great. Alicia Fox is going to get eliminated within 10 seconds, though. Well, you know, the thing about this match is <sighs> I still thought after the WWE draft that SmackDown had the better roster in terms of women. But believe it or not, Raw somehow has basically shown us that these women are somehow way more talented than SmackDown is supposed to be. So much so, better. So, in terms of who's going to win, I, I honestly feel that Raw should win. Because when you look at Charlotte Flair, Bailey, Nia Jax, and Alicia Fox, and Sasha Banks, you know, what's the point? I mean, Nikki Bella, Becky Lynch... Nikki Bella Bush. should not be captain of SmackDown's team. Natalia should have been. She's a better wrestler. Her neck than almost her. got broken last night. She is not captain material. And I just don't understand why she's captain over Becky Lynch or Natalia. I can't understand that either because she has the veteran experience. Give me a break. Yeah, you know, Natalia has more veteran experience. They're weak now. They're weak. Then we have the Raw versus SmackDown men's match. And before we say who you're gonna, who you think's going to win, how, what did you think of on Monday night when the team SmackDown came out with their mascot, James Ellsworth, to Raw? Wasn't that pretty cool? I thought it was interesting. I mean, I didn't expect it. A lot of people didn't expect it. And that's what made Raw's ending pretty interesting last uh, last Monday night. It was fun to watch the ending and especially see how Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins for one night was able to put AJ Styles to a pile of SmackDown wrestlers. Yeah, and you know what's funny? Um, when, when Strowman was destroying Shane McMahon... I was definitely expecting his old-time rival, uh, James Elder Ellsworth, to jump in there. Didn't you think he was going to try to take down Strowman? I couldn't think about that because Strowman was going crazy in that rank. Absolutely. Um, so, if you look at this match, again, it's a big mismatch. Raw's team is so much better, in my opinion. Yes, they are. Um, so, who do you think is going to win this match? I'm going to have to agree with you at the end. I've been thinking about this uh, carefully, and I feel at the end of the night, Raw's going to come on top. I'm sorry for, you know, going against SmackDown, even though I find SmackDown a little bit easier to keep an eye on. But, you know, Raw just has the strength at the end of the day. And if they don't win, I will be stunned. They quite literally have the strength. If you look at Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman... Uh, Especially it's, it's, Strowman. They don't, uh, SmackDown does not have a guy like Strowman on their team. So, this is what I'm going to say. I think Raw will win as well, and it's either going to come down to like Strowman destroying everybody, or like Roman Reigns, or it might come down to Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles, which would be really cool. The champ versus the that champ. That would be see, awesome. And we could see who the real champ that runs the camp is. But... The, this is the only way SmackDown can win. If it comes down to Dean Ambrose against Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins, and then Dean Ambrose hits two dirty deeds in a row to get the, victor the victory for SmackDown, then he could say to AJ, see, I should be champ. I led this team SmackDown to victory. Well, it's a very good possibility if you look at the way that this matchup is set. It could go either way. And by the way, Shane McMahon, he's not going to last that long. No, um, probably not. Um, so what did you think of the Undertaker returning last night? Well, that was certainly a great way to promote the show. And uh, listen, I'm a little bit nervous now on what's going to happen if SmackDown loses. Because if SmackDown loses, uh, I don't know what's going to happen in terms of Undertaker. Does this well, mean that Undertaker wants a rematch with Shane McMahon, which I feel stupid? No. But no, it's not going to happen. This so, is what could, this is what could happen with Undertaker. A few things. 
he could ta- he could team up with his brother Kane to take on Brian Randy Orton. Yes, that could happen. He could be mad at the captain of Team SmackDown, AJ Styles, and take on AJ Styles at some point. Um, Possibility. And he could win the title from AJ, and then he could verse John Cena for the title at WrestleMania. That would be a pretty big match. Or, there's a problem. There's a problem. Or, How many or, times would Undertaker be on TV? Not too... Well, he said he's back now. I don't know. Or he could enter the Royal Rumble, which would be cool. Um, but, Andrew, I know you got to go, so if you have to go, feel free to do so. But I just wanted to tell you before you go, it's the Scar for Jericho. Try it on, man. Oh, no. <laughs> I like that list, but... I don't know if I'm going to wear a Chris Jericho scarf. Likely not. If you don't like Chris Jericho, you know what happens to people who don't like Chris Jericho? You make the list! You make the list, Andrew! You make the list! 